It's begun. Kick who? Your mom. Are fake sneakers getting too good? All that and more on today's episode of What Are Those? On today's episode of The Sneakers That Blows. Just kidding. Just kidding. Nike, please. This is the Kobe 6 Grinch. Grin no, this. And if you've been following my channel, you know we already did a performance review on a pair of fake Kobe Grinches a while back. Those were the WKBs or the World Killer Batch. Amazing performers, but in terms of accuracy, there was still a lot of room for improvement. And that is where these come in. The God Killer Batch. God Killer, World Killer, what's next? Titan Fister? Universe Mal So for this video, we will be taking a closer look at the sneakers and try and highlight some of the key differences between a rep and a retail to see just how crazy these are. A little legit checking QC guide. I also have the WKBs here so we can do a side by side towards the end of the video. All right, let's get into it. A perfect box? Don't see this too often. Usually it looks like they take turns teabagging it until one side is nice and caved in. So we are starting off on the right foot here. For these I did go half a size up because I'm a white footer and the Pro Tros do run a bit snug. Oh my god. Alright, put these in my butt already. You can already tell these are so much better than the WKBs. In terms of accuracy, they're looking ridiculous. There's the iconic red laces that Kobe wore in the Christmas game. To get this pair, I did QC two others before it, and the only issue I had with those was the Achilles heel pad was uneven on one of the shoes. Something to watch for that's not on this particular pair we have in hand here. Let's start with the overall silhouette of the sneaker, the Kobe 6. This time it has that more narrow toe box, just like the retails. On the WKBs, it had a wider toe box, and the tip of the shoe kind of rose up a bit more. The overall shape of these is spot on, so it's not going to be possible to legit check these just based off the shape, especially on foot, because they are pretty much identical depth and shape of the scales are very nice as well. Also, this pair of Grinches has a bit more of that volt color towards the top of the shoe, which was always lacking on the other badges. This brings us to the only two ways to legit check this sneaker. The first being the flat scale pattern at the midsole, this part right here. You're just looking at how high it comes up onto the upper. On retails, it'll be slightly lower. These are about a millimeter too high, especially towards the front, near the peak. Very hard to see, depending on the pair you have. Next is the easiest and most dependable way to legit check these, and that is the green color towards the bottom of the upper. The green at the bottom of the fade gets a little too dark. It's like a verde, and you want it to be more like a verde. That's the same color. Shut up, you. So yeah, definitely look for that. It's a pretty easy tell if you have a retail side by side, or just look up some high res photos. Everything else on the shoe is super clean though. Not gonna find any other flaws, so keep those two in mind. The Nike swoosh here uses that same spray painted method used on the retails, so they have that nice feathering effect around the edges. You can see a bit of the overspray on the scales all around the swoosh. There's also that light sparkle in the black paint, making it give off a slightly metallic look. Next we have the new and improved tongue here. Perfect thickness, just like my thighs. And my favorite part, the glossy red Kobe logo on the tongue. It looks amazing. A big improvement over the WKBs. So big. You know, Kobe's logo is probably my all time favorite. Either his or D Rose. Both top tier logos right there. Moving to the sock liner and the Achilles heel padding. The material is spot on with a nice amount of padding wrapping around the heel area. Same shape as retail. Also, all the stitching is perfect on these. Nice and hidden, even on both shoes. There's the heel counter with Kobe's signature at the bottom. Great colors and placement. One thing I did notice back here is the heel area on the God Killers feels a tiny bit softer than the WKBs. On foot, I can't notice any difference, but uh, I'll keep you posted on that in the performance review. Got a carbon fiber shank plate and the translucent green traction. Feels very nice and tacky, both the translucent and the rubber parts of the traction. I did test them out on my wood floors and I couldn't really get them to squeak much, but they stuck, hoard. Yeah, everything is just a step up from what we've seen before. This is that spooky territory where you really got to start looking closer if you're on the resale market. But uh, if you're not on the resale market, hey, that's pretty good. All right, time for a little side by side with the WKBs, the previous best out there. 
I have played a ton in these, so they are a bit dorty. But still. I mean, come on. That's just not fair. Straight away, it's super easy to tell how much more effort went into the aesthetics of the shoe, quality of the scales, the color, especially on the swoosh. On the WKBs, it's transfer painted on there, so you don't get any of that nice feathering around the edges. And it's more of a pure black color. Not much, not much of that nice sparkle. Ew! Alright, I didn't think these were that bad at first, but when you got them side by side, it makes the God Killer tongue really stand out. Ooh, it's beautiful. What even, what even is that logo? It's like printed on there. Nah, don't like that. Also, you can see the Kobe signature is a lot more precise. One thing the WKBs do got going for them is more cushion. There's an extra zoom unit in the heel, and I believe it's a thicker turbo unit in the forefoot. This pair is just like the Pro Tros, with no heel unit and the standard turbo unit in the forefoot. Now at the end of, now at the, now at the end of the day, on foot it's still gonna be very hard to tell which is which, um, especially when you're moving around. I mean, my gourd. It doesn't get much closer than this. So the main things to watch out for on the Kobe 6 Grinch are the height of the midsole scales and the shade of green at the end of the fade. A wade. D Wade. I have yet to hoop in these, but the general consensus is that uh, they perform just like retail. But if you want more cushion in lockdown, the WKBs are still going to be your go-to. That is my legit checking QC guide for the Kobe 6 Grinch. Let me know what you guys think if I missed anything down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.